All right, today we're gonna talk about beauty dishes. That's one of these things. This is a hard dish that has a deflector in the middle, permanently in there, and they come in silver and white. The whole purpose of a beauty dish is to not have a bright spot in the middle where the light bulb is. Most people think that a soft box has a bright spot in the middle. Some soft boxes are like that, but not all. Now a beauty dish has a plate in the middle, and this is what it looks like when you're looking at a beauty dish. It's got kind of a dark spot in the middle of it and a ring of light around it. This is what the throw of light looks like from a beauty dish on a wall. It has kind of a darker spot in the middle and a donut around it. But let's compare an actual beauty dish with a soft box. Let's start with an 8200 and the beauty dish that was made for it, the ADS-3. This is what it looks like looking at the ADS-3, and this is the pattern of light that it puts on the wall. All right, now let's use this little tiny 17-inch softbox, the ADS-7, the one that I like so much. Let's stick this one on the AD-200. Let's just put the outer diffusion on it and see what this looks like. This is the throw of light that it puts on the wall. Look at that, it's so even. The whole wall is evenly lit. This is the beauty dish. This is the little tiny 17-inch softbox. Look at the difference. All right, let's look at another one. This is the throw of light from an Angler 33 inch quick open beauty dish. This is a huge beauty dish, 33 inches across. Look at the pattern on the wall. Looks like a donut. All right, now let's compare that with a slightly smaller softbox, a 26 inch QSB 26. Look at that. Look how even the lighting is on that. Look how smooth that fall off is. Softbox, beauty dish. The softbox does not have an inner diffuser on it. It only has the outer diffuser. Most people think you get a hot spot when you only use the outer diffuser. This is what it looks like when you're looking right at the softbox when it's flat. There is no hot spot in the middle of it. The hardware inside kind of blocks the light a little bit. And here's the beauty dish when you're looking at it while it's flashing. So as you can see, you can get a flatter, smoother light from a softbox than from a beauty dish. Beauty dishes were created a hundred years ago when lights were really, really hot and you couldn't use fabric for softboxes. You had to have metal because the metal won't burn. That's why these were created. It does not mean these create better light than a softbox. These are just fireproof. <laughs> as opposed to fabric. So that's why beauty dishes were created because a hundred years ago, the lights were super, super, super hot and could burn anything that was even close to them. But soft boxes create a softer light. Even the little tiny ones like this create a better light than this. The person that called these beauty dishes, I think should be put in a mental asylum, but that's just my opinion. So what does it look like when you actually light someone's face up with a beauty dish? Let's find out. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the smallest thing of all, this thing here, it's an ADS-2. It's a 4.7 inch reflector dish that is the most used thing that I have for my AD200. And it comes with a diffuser that you put on the front. It's just $8, it's probably the cheapest modifier you can get. So this is what it looks like with just bare open flash. So let's put the little plastic diffuser over the front. It helps a little bit. Remember, this thing's only four and a half inches. Now let's put on this one here. The 12 inch beauty dish, the ADS-3. It's $50. And this is what it looks like as a bare open beauty dish. Looks almost exactly the same as a little four and a half inch bare bulb reflector. And these beauty dishes also come with a diffusion sock. They, can you come over here for a second? You put a sock over the front of this thing. There. Thank you, assistant. And this is what it looks like when you put the sock over it. It diffuses it a little bit, but you still got the highlights. This beauty dish also comes with a honeycomb grid, which is a really good deal. A beauty dish and a honeycomb grid for 50 bucks. And this is what it looks like with the honeycomb grid. It's basically the same as an open beauty dish, just a narrower beam. Moving on, we are now getting into the Bowens mount territory, which means AD600. And so this is the uh, BDR W420. W stands for white. They also have a silver version. This is $45. This goes goes on the 8600 as such. And now you have a nice white source of light. Let's see what this looks like. Here's the basic 16 inch white beauty dish. That's what it looks like. And now let's put a diffusion sock over the front. And this is what that looks like. Not really that much different. I don't know. This white one makes everything have kind of a bluish color. All right, so this was a 16 inch. Let's move up in size. This is a 21 inch. It's a BDR Godox W55 for white or S55 for silver. Now this one here, I don't like as much because it's got a, this, this deflector is dangling on some uh, little cords here. It's not very rugged. When you get into this size, it starts getting kind of heavy. And uh, you know, when you get into something this size, you might as well start using soft boxes. But I wanted to see if a beauty dish really is that much different. So here's what the 21 inch BDR W55 looks like. It's a little bit bigger, so the highlights are a little less prominent. All right, let's put a diffusion sock over this one. It softens it up a little bit. It's pretty good. 
Now we're getting in a really big territory here. This is an impact. This is 27 inches. This is a BD27 by impact. Metal, so it's not gonna flop around. Uh, it's pretty heavy, pretty darn heavy. This is not something you wanna take out on location, although the benefit of this is it's not gonna blow around in the wind as much because it's big and heavy. But taking this out on location is not fun because it doesn't really collapse. But anyway, I like the middle of this one because it's permanently attached. It's not flop. It's not <laughs> gotta be. Watch out. It, so it's not flopping around with the the wires and stuff. Well, I like that. So here's what the big 27 white beauty dish looks like. Looks pretty good. It's bigger, so the highlights are a little more under control. And I don't have a sock for this, so <laughs> I mean it's pretty white. It's pretty even as it is. So that is the 27 inch. Now anything bigger than this. Yes, there is something bigger than that. Now we're getting into, uh, this is called a beauty dish. It's actually collapsible, it's by Angler. It's a quick open 33 inch. This one here, it really annoys me because look how complex this thing is. It's really complex. It's like a satellite dish and it's got all this stuff happening. It's got all these things so you can attach diffu inner diffuser, outer diffusion. Now you're getting into it, this is just a softbox and it's not a, you know, the whole idea of a beauty dish is you don't have diffusion over the front. You just have it open with a white uh, or silver uh, deflector in there. So this thing is really heavy. This is really getting heavy in my arm. They say it's a quick release. <laughs> Look at all the arms. You have to release these one at a time. <sighs> this is not... Yeah, this is not... Uh, uh, some of them won't even release. Uh, uh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not even Why gonna, would they make that? I'm not even gonna do the whole thing. I, I, I released like maybe five of them. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is not a quick release. It's heavy, it's bulky, it's ridiculous. I am giving this one away for sure. But the lighting looks pretty good. It actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like this. It's just a big, heavy, awkward modifier that I don't like to use, but the lighting is pretty good. The reason it looks so much better is because it's big. It's 33 inches. Now let's compare that with an actual softbox. So I'm just gonna get a small one. I'm just gonna get a cheetah QSB 26, this is 26 inches. So let's see if this one with only one outer diffusion, I do not have an inner diffusion in here. Let's see what the difference is. Here's the hard impact beauty dish and here's the softbox. Look at that, instantly amazing. I think softboxes are just always the best. I, I don't know, it's just so easy. They're lightweight, they're, they just look great. And this is just outer diffusion. There's no inner diffusion on this. The best lighting you can get, I think, with a beauty dish is when you have it right overhead called clamshell lighting. We have the beauty dish right overhead and you have a reflector underneath. This is what it looks like when you have a clamshell set up with a beauty dish overhead and a, it's called an eye lighter underneath of there. I'm using the Impact 27 and that looks nice. It looks nice because you're getting light from above and you're also getting reflecting from below. That's called a clamshell setup. Now we're talking glamour lighting. Yes, this looks great, but that's because we're using an eye lighter underneath. Once you get light from both directions, that's when you start getting a much better look. But I don't think a beauty dish by itself is really that great. You can get the same look or even better with a soft box. Now, like I said, beauty dishes create shiny spots on the face, especially the smaller ones. So let's switch this big giant 27 inch with a 21 inch, still using the reflector from below. Notice the shiny spots are becoming more apparent. All right, let's go down even smaller to a 16 inch. The shiny spots are becoming even more apparent. Let's go down to a 12 inch, even more shiny spots. And the shadows are starting to look pretty bad. So the smaller you get with the beauty dish, the worse the lighting looks. But if you're only gonna use one modifier on the person with no reflector on the other side, I suggest not using a beauty dish, using a softbox. So to recap real quick, the lighting from a beauty dish versus a softbox. Here's the lighting from a 16 inch white beauty dish. And this is the lighting from a little 17 inch softbox with just an outer diffuser. This is one of the smallest softboxes you can get. Again, this is a beauty dish. Look at the shiny spots on the face. And this is a softbox. Pretty darn good. From what I'm seeing, the lighting on the softbox looks better than the beauty dish. In fact, there's very little difference between the lighting coming from a beauty dish and the light coming off of a bare little tiny reflector like this with no diffusion on it. Here's the little tiny open bulb reflector and here's the beauty dish, which is three times bigger and heavier. I like the look of the little tiny reflector better than that of the beauty dish. And I even like the silver beauty dish sometimes better than the white one. In my opinion, for some reason, these create even more hot spots on the face than this does. And this plastic diffuser that you put on the front makes it even softer. This is what I've been using on location for years now.
And this is what it looks like. Basic seven inch reflector with some diffusion plastic over the front. Let's compare that to this. This is a beauty dish. And this is the seven inch reflector again. I've used this thing on photo shoots all over the world for the last 10 years. It's so practical, it's easy to use, it's small, it doesn't blow in the wind, it's awesome. This for me is the most used modifier I've ever used in all my photo shoots all these years. This, nothing big, not even a soft box. I do use soft boxes sometimes, but the little reflector is, I mean, people, they think you have to have this big, giant, expensive, fancy equipment to get good lighting. You don't. So the beauty dishes for me create a lighting no different than a paparazzi flash. Hey, Gwyneth, over here. I'm going to give it away. Uh, Marcus picks.giveawayenter.com. And I'm also gonna give away the big giant impact 27 inch BD27. I'm gonna give one of these away. Oh, I only have one. <laughs> anyway, it's just too big and too like, ugh. And I'm also gonna give away the 21 inch BDR W55 from Godox. And I'm also gonna give away, actually I'm gonna give them all away. I'm gonna give away the, uh, the 16 inch, but I am gonna keep the, uh, the AD200 one, the little 12 inch beauty dish, the ADS3, it comes with a grid. I don't know, I just like this for some reason. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. It's not big and nasty to work with. So this is kind of fun to have. So I'm gonna keep this one. But uh, for seriously, soft boxes are the way to go, I think. I mean, it's just, beauty dishes don't, I don't know. I mean, and there are people that like them, and that's great. Go ahead, like them, that's fine. So there you go. There's my, uh, t you know, there's my opinion on beauty dishes. I don't like them, but some people do, and that's that's fine. That's great. Everybody has their favorite thing. I'm more of a uh, little tiny reflector like this guy. I mean, this for me, most of my things that I've ever done on the photo sessions were either with the 8200 with the 4.7 reflector or the 7 inch reflector on the 8600. That's when I'm out there in the world, this, this is good enough for me. Soft boxes are fine when you're indoors, but I like to be out in the world doing stuff. Anyway, so uh, that's my opinion on it. So we'll pick the winners from these big, giant, clunky things in a few days. Until then, have a great one. And uh, Are you finished with me? Here, get in the light. Get out. Are you finished with me now, finally? No, I'm never Please. finished with you. So, bye. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye.